Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so this week I'm gonna be doing some shelf cooking. If you're not familiar with shelf cooking, it's basically where you use what you have on your shelf, in your pantry, in your freezer, wherever. Um, so in my freezer, I have this pan seared butterfly shrimp. It's new to me. I bought it because it was on sale and all you do is pan fry it in a little bit of butter, I think. And this is what it looks like frozen. It actually looks pretty good. And then I'm going to pop a potato in the air fryer for Howard and I to split. Um, this potato is about a pound. I weighed it. It's pretty big. And then we are going to have some Bisquick cheese garlic biscuits. I'm gonna throw those in the oven, get those whipped up. And then I'm gonna serve it with a side salad. I have some lettuce in the fridge. And then this I've had, it's from Aldi. These are little uh, Parmesan cheese crisps. So I'm gonna have this with some red onions on our salads. So let me get started. So I've got my potato in the air fryer. I have it set at 400 for one hour, term reminder after 30 minutes. And here is the potato. I don't poke any holes in it or anything. All I do is clean it and then I just uh, spray olive oil on it. And then as you can see, I've got some um, coarse sea salt on there. And the potato turns out perfectly every single time. Okay, so here are our plates. Here is the shrimp. Howard and I tasted it. It's pretty good. I mean, it has a really good flavor. Would I buy it again? Probably not, because I can just as easily make it myself. And then there are the biscuits, and I am going to be trying out this Kerrygold butter for the first time. I bought it from Walmart, and I bought it just like this. It came just like this. It's a 3.5 ounces, and it is garlic and herb butter. And so I wanted to let you guys see what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna put this on my biscuit. And then here's the potato. On the potato, I've got some salt, butter, and sour cream. The butter has already melted. Here is the side salad. And I told you guys I was gonna put a red onion on there or slice up a red onion and put it on there and I changed my mind. So um, this is Howard's plate. This is my plate. I added some black pepper to my potato. He is going to be using this Ken's Creamy Caesar dressing. And then I am going to be using this Garden, Olive Garden Italian signature, signature Italian dressing, if I could speak. So I'm gonna be using this, one of these. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, went out to my freezer and I had this in my freezer, so I let it defrost. I'm going to make an Asian inspired meal tonight. So I'm going to cook these on the stove, brown them up really well. That's my son in the background. And I'm going to add this Korean barbecue sauce to them. And then I'm going to make some fried rice. This is my favorite fried rice seasoning, this Kikkoman brand. And I've already cooked my rice and it was um, in the refrigerator. You get it real cold. You're supposed to add some bacon, green onions, and an egg. I did not take out bacon to defrost, so we won't be having bacon, but I did prep my green onions. I'm not gonna use all of them, I'm gonna use some of them. And I may or may not make some stir fried green beans. I am not sure yet. All right, so let me get started. Okay, so here is the finished product. You see I've got my fried rice on the bottom and on top of that I've got the um, meatballs. And we really like the sauce, it's really good. And as you can see I did decide to make the green beans and they're just frozen skinny green beans that I sauteed in olive oil and some of this uh, seasoning salt. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I wanted to use up the biscuits that I made the other day. So I decided to make biscuits and gravy. I love breakfast for dinner and my biscuits and gravy recipe is really, really simple. I actually recorded a video on it a while back ago. Very simple to make. And with it, I decided to make some scrambled eggs. And what I have in my scrambled eggs is sharp cheddar cheese 
and these french fried onions. I have been making my scrambled eggs like this for years. I love onions in my eggs, but sometimes I just don't want to deal with chopping them or you know, anything else. So what I do is I scramble up my eggs and then I add in these onion pieces and they sit and they get softer while they're sitting in the eggs and then I just fry them up and I just add in some cheddar cheese, really quick and simple and tasty. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having mandarin orange chicken. I have this in my freezer for a while. I got it from Winco, which is a grocery store around here. And I picked it up because it reminded me of Trader Joe's mandarin orange chicken. It does not taste the same though. It's okay. It's just a bit tangier than I would like it to be. Um, with it, I am serving just some jasmine rice and then I stir fried some fresh broccoli. And this is what I use to season it, this buttery steakhouse and then this bouillon as well. And a little bit of this goes a long way. Um, it's really good, very savory, but like I said, a little bit goes a long way, it's a little bit salty. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. I am trying out a new recipe today, tortellini bake, and I'll hold it here so you guys can screenshot it if you'd like. You know I'm all about the quick and easy recipes, and I had everything on hand. Um, the difference in this recipe and what I'm doing is that I am using cheese tortellini, so I'm making this a meatless meal. So this is the tortellini that I'm using from Aldi, and then I have uh, some Parmesan cheese here. I've got my cheddar cheese, and then I've got my pasta sauce. So I'm gonna start off by boiling my pasta, and then I'll put everything together and show you how it turns out. So here is the casserole in all of its cheesy goodness, and it is so good, very simple to make. I'll definitely be making this again. With it, we are having side salads. We'll dress it at the table, and then I just made some cheesy bread. I had some leftover hot dog buns, and I just put softened butter on it, and then some shredded Parmesan, and I baked it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.